welcome to OnlineGroomingSchool.com. My name is Yvonne, and what we're going to show you today is how to groom a Scotty, a, a, a Scottish Terrier. Here is Dundee. So have say hello, Dundee. Now, Dundee is a mix, but he's got probably 90% more Scotty in him than anything else. And um, we're going to say so hello and say hi. And what we've done with Scotty, we'll show you what we've done on the other side, but what I'd like to do first is introduce you to the tools that we're going to be using to show you how to groom a Scotty. Uh, following the simple rules of the Sam Cole, I want to show you what we use as a guide. Is the All Breed Dog Grooming Guide by Sam Cole. Okay, really great book. And I wanted to show you just how many easy steps there are, how to, it, it, uh, easy it is to follow his grooming guide. It shows you how to bathe, um, you know, what to, do, what to use in the bathing uh, process. It also indicates the lines, the numbers. Number two, here tells you how to clean the ear. Okay, so just follow the number guide. Also, it shows you the lines of where you're going to do the clipping and what blades to use. In this example, you could either use five, seven, uh, and a half to do the body. Okay, today we're going to be using a, a, a seven finishing blade. Also, on this side, it shows you how the head should look like, and the front and back view, back view of the Scottish Terrier, and then how he should look after he's completely groomed. Okay, so great recommendation. You should really. This is a great. great it's like a Bible for the groomers. So, what we're going to be using today are um, two uh, slicker brushes. So I always like to have uh, two handy, a small one and a larger one. We are going to be using straights, straight uh, scissors, curved scissors, and thinning shears come in really handy when it comes to the terrier breed. Now on the scissors, how how uh, long are these guys? The, the it's scissors? eight and a half. These are seven and a half. It really, you know, it really depends what you feel comfortable with. Um, if you have a larger breed, they have to cover more ground, and you're gonna go down the seven and a half. But I'm comfortable with the eight and a half. So. So eight and a half straights and. And seven and a half curves. Seven and a half curves. Okay. You could have seven and a half straights. It doesn't matter. And then I see you have two slicker brushes. Why is that? I just if I want to get into the small areas, it's you know more sensitive areas around the eyes. I can I can brush you know around the beard with this one. Larger areas for larger areas. So okay, it's just, good deal. And then what we have here is two number ten blades and two number seven finishing blades, and those are the blades we're going to be using today. Obviously, we need a clipper. We have the Anda Super Super Two Speed Clipper. So you have two number ten blades. Is that is there a reason why you need two blades? Well, you just don't want to uh, clip a dog if your if your blade is hot. So it's always handy to have um, more than one of the same blade. So if my blade gets hot, I'll just switch blades and put the cool blade on the on the clipper. And then obviously, you could also use a cool uh, coolant uh, on your on, on your uh, blade to cool it down. And we explain that in the pet hygiene uh, um, uh, CD series series. We also have a wall cordless clipper. I always have this handy, not necessary for, for this clip, but it's, it's nice to have something really quiet and, and, and for small areas. This particular uh, clipper has um, an ascending blade length, so all the way this way it's, it's a 9, and all the way this way it's a 40. But it's not made for big jobs, only for small areas. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, and again, your, uh, of course, you have your Greyhound comb, which is your flapping comb. All right? The Greyhound comb, the fluffing. Yeah, it's just a fluffing comb. It's also called the fluffing comb, but the correct word for it is Greyhound comb. Okay? All right, so we're going to get started. I'm going to set some things here. Now, it's a good idea not to have your scissors and, and clippers sitting on the table with a dog. Uh, you're taking a risk of them you know, shutting off the table and then, and then breaking, but for the purpose of teaching here, we want to kind of have everything handy and show you what, what's available for clipping the dog. So we're going to attach Dundee here to what's called the, um, the groomer's helper. And the groomer's helper is a, is a uh, grooming loop or grooming restraint, all right? And it has a little ring here that you can attach to this bracket, okay? So if you see this here, I can un unattach him or attach him again. What that does, it helps to control the dog. He can't turn around I, I, and get I you. But it's called Pet, pet Silk. You can get it from Pet Edge, uh, Ryan's Pet Supply, even your local Pet Smarts or Petco's. And just ask for Pet Silk, and that's the name of the, the, 
the leave-on conditioner. So there you go. There's Dundee. Dundee, say goodbye to everybody. Bye, Dundee. Bye-bye. Just like any other video, make sure you view it at least, you know, three times. Um, look at the instructions and obviously look at Sam Cole's grooming guide and you'll be a pro at this before you know it. So thanks a lot and we'll see you on the next one. Well, Yvonne, thank you so much. And uh, Mr. Dundee. Bye-bye. Here you are. See you later, big guy. Thank you so much.